Boy, Emperor Mufasa back with another NBA 2K17 video. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed that intro of today's video. But nonetheless, as you guys read in the title of today's video, today we're gonna actually be going over some size of the best size of the NBA 2K17. I broke down the top four best size of the NBA 2K17 because as we know, some make your dribbles faster, some make them slower, some are for dribble gods. But nonetheless, let's get right into it. So now let's start off with the dribble god slash spam size ups, and that is Elite 5 and Elite 1. Now these two size ups are known for the people who like to spam dribble moves like crossovers behind the backs between the legs as you guys can see on the screen i'm gonna give you guys the pros and the cons for every single one of the best uh size up in nba 2k17 so like i said elite 5 is known for your faster dribble moves for some reason if you put on that elite 5 basic size up your crossovers your behind the backs and any of your dribble animations are really they just become faster I don't know what it is but that elite 5 and the elite 1 are actually very similar size ups they just have little differences here and there but the elite 5 as you guys can see on the screen it's actually easier to connect dribble since your moves are going to be faster it's just self explanatory that your moves are going to be even easier to connect that's why people like to use it to spam dribble moves like I don't know the Kobe Bryant for example but as you guys can see and it's also very good for momentum crossovers momentum behind the backs those are actually really good as well Elite 5 is actually not um, as good as Elite 1 for some reason Elite 1 is better for momentum crossovers and all that stuff But one bad thing about Elite 5 it does not have the best size ups A size up is when you hold down that right trigger And let's say you flick your right analog stick down or to the left side For Those are the size ups um, included into Elite 5 now let's move on to the next size up, which is Elite 1. Like I said, Elite 1 and Elite 5 are almost the exact same thing. The only differences are you going to see on the screen. But Elite 1 is the best for momentum crossovers. If you like to spam momentum crossovers, momentum behind the backs, try out that Elite 1. For some reason, you get that quicker version of the momentum crossover a lot more if you have that Elite 1 basic size up. The only difference between Elite 1 and Elite 5 is that the, the, for some reason, if you do like basic crossovers like left to right or behind the backs, the animations are actually lower and I don't know why that, ha that, that why that seems to happen but this one also is as good as Elite 5 when connecting dribbles because like I said they are both used when trying to spam dribbles so that's why Elite 1 and Elite 5 are known to be uh, like just like each other now Elite 3 is known as the teleport crossover size up now this is mostly used from um I've seen this now used a lot by a lot of sharpshooters actually um, as you guys can see on the screen, this is known for one of the best size ups in NBA 2K17. It is that crossover you keep on seeing me doing right there. It's, that's what the teleport crossover is. If you mix that in with any um, any between the legs animation in NBA 2K17, it becomes like a teleport crossover. That's why Elite 3 is has some of the best size ups in NBA 2K17. It is actually not the best for like spamming dribbles like let's say the Kobe Bryant, the Kyle Lowry, and etc. That's more for Elite uh, 5 and Elite 1, the ones we just covered. Elite 3 is completely different. That one uh, focuses mainly on the size ups. That's why I keep on doing this uh, crossover. But it does have a good um, advantage when it comes to the momentum crossovers. For some reason, it feels it has uh, so much of a smoother feel when trying to do the, the momentum moves. I don't know why, but it just seems to do that when you're using that Elite 3 basic size up. Like I said, since the moves are going to be a little slower, like the basic crossovers and behind the backs, it is going to take a little longer to connect those drill moves. So you're not going to be able to spam as quickly. Now the next and the last um, basic size up is actually going to be normal 3, which is known for the step back spam size up. As you guys can see on the screen, if you guys do not know what I am talking about, that is that step back I keep on doing right there. That's the step back I just did to get that three point shot. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen maybe a bunch of sharp shooters, maybe on the 2v2s because that's mainly where I see it when they use this animation right here. Now I'm going to be completely honest, this animation can be overpowered if you know how to use it correctly. Not that many people use it. I'm really surprised 
rise but this move is perfect with rhythm dribbles because since you're doing that step back which which you can literally just do that step back and take off to this to that side that you have the ball in it's crazy but if you mix that in with the rhythm dribble it's really hard to gonna be able to guard you because i mean you can either go either way it's crazy the only downfall for this um size up since it's a normal size up it has does have slower moves which means you are not gonna be able to spam as faster than you would if you had that elite five or that elite one but you do have some of the best size ups and that step back cheese man that thing is nasty Nasty. I would use that more often, but I prefer just to have better uh, faster drill moves instead of just that step back move But that step back move if used correctly can be nasty So go ahead and try that out if you want to try that out But thank you guys for checking out the YouTube video when it comes to the best size of the NBA 2k17 All I can say is personal preference whatever you prefer if you're a, a if you're a sharpshooter And you like to sh just shoot threes practically and use that normal three that step back spam But anyways guys, thank you for checking out the YouTube video it has been your boy at Rufasa Do not forget to drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace And if you're a center and you play late at night hit me up on Xbox. Peace